Okay, today we're going to show you how to swap out the Honda CRF 110 shock spring for the BBR heavy duty spring. First thing you do, clamp it in the vise, pull the spring down till you can see the circlip, and then take a pick and pop that clip out. Okay, once you have your circlip loose, this all just pops up like this. And Honda, for whatever reason, made this so that it won't come off. Um, I've seen guys grind the corners and get it off like that. But that's not the right way to do it. Um, just flip the shock upside down, and then everything's basically loose. And this is a nut right here. You can loosen that now and hold this with the bolt and basically screw the clevis off of that nut, and then the spring will come off. Note how many threads you have shown here. There's a couple because when you put it back together, if you screw the clevis too far on, your shock will be a little bit shorter than it was. Also, put red Loctite on it just to make sure that thing never comes off and makes you have a bad day. And then you back this nut all the way down to the chrome shaft, and then it'll actually... Um, tighten itself on there and it'll loosen the shaft right out of the clevis. Okay, once you get the clevis loose, then you have to get the jam nut back off of the chrome shaft. If you have soft jaw vise, you can put it in there and it'll come off. Um, or you can take two 10 by 125 nuts and screw them on there, break it loose like that. I've seen guys actually grab the shaft down here with vice grips before because it's under the bottoming rubber. Probably okay, but I'd be scared to do that. But if you got no other way, I think that would work. So basically you screw this jam nut off of here and uh, pull this stuff off to put the new shock on. Okay, once you get the jam nut off of there, the spring comes off. You put the new BBR one on. It's smaller on one end than the other. The small end goes down first. And then you put the slider over the top. That holds the spring there. Then you put the big washer on like that. And then you put the jam nut on. And usually we red Loctite these things. You don't want them coming off. So put some of that on there. Put your jam nut down and remember to leave a couple of threads showing like they come or it'll change the length of the shock. And then you can screw the clevis back on. The BBR heavy duty spring's a lot stiffer than the stock one. So it's really hard to pull down and get the circlip in there. If you're a tough guy, you can do it. We use a spring compressor um, you can also go to your local auto parts store and they usually have a spring clamp. It looks like vice grips that pinch the coils. That works too, but this is the easy way. It just compresses it. Then you can just snap the clip right on there and basically you're done. 